everyone and welcome back and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo for the week of August 4th and a very special thank you goes out to every one of you who have been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others and for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments thank you very very much for doing that it is greatly appreciated All right, first card out, the tower card. That's all right. You got to let go of something in order to begin again. You know, there's been a sudden flash for you. Something has happened this week that has given you the green light to take care of yourself. Get your finances in check. You know, you're telling yourself the truth. You're letting something go because it doesn't have the foundation you thought it did. You're understanding that yeah, it's not built as solid as you thought. This could be in friendships, your finances, your jobs, your relatives, and you're branching out. You know, you're understanding that it's time for you to take your own advice, protect yourself. You know, make sure that you have enough money in your bank accounts. You can see what's happening. You can see the writing on the wall and you're taking action to correct yourself and your surroundings. And there you are showing up in your own. Yeah. Page of, uh, Queen of Pentacles. You're nurturing yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're getting your finances in order. You know, this is, if this is a work project. It's one that, it's from the heart. You feel good when you sit down and you do it. It just feels right. And it just flows naturally. And it's going to help your accounts continue to grow the way that you wanted them you know and if you're trying to purchase something this week or looking into it you're looking for the best deal and will find it because it's what you want and look at that blissful happiness celebration joy oh, good marriages home your community is open arms to you you feel like you finally come home. You can be the way you want, say what you want, act the way you want, not judged, welcomed. And that is such a blissful place to be. And you've been looking for that for quite some time and it's finally now presented itself to you. And the four swords, yeah, you're healing yourself. You know, you're taking a little bit of time out. Maybe you're feeling a little bit under the weather. Maybe something's happened and you're making a withdrawal for your soul and your health you know you're taking that retreat you're rejuvenizing yourself and just taking a little bit of r and r you know that your health your wealth is in your health and that's what you're taking care of because you know you need to help yourself first before you do any farther so good for you and the Ace of Swords. A lot of people got this one. You got the mental clarity and the breakthrough on what it is you need to do. This is new ideas and it will be successful. You're very sharp minded. You're using your creativity and moving yourself forward. You're understanding that it's time now. You know, if something's gone on in the past that you feel like you should have, could have, or said something and didn't, well, now you are. You're clearing the air because you don't want to keep carrying around that excess baggage anymore. You want things to be more straightforward, moving towards the way that you can see it. And the Five of Pentacles, okay. So there was a little bit of financial loss. Maybe something costs a little bit more than what you had anticipated, but it's not you know, overwhelming, it's recoupable, and you're realizing that quite quickly. And you're not going to keep continuing stressing about it. You're just moving away from that situation and carrying on with what it is you need to do because you're headed in a different perspective now. Your mind is set, you're changing gears, and things will change for you. And look at that. <laughs> I like that one. Nine of Pentacles means you're independent. You have the fruits of your labor. You're comfortable. You don't really need anything. And you're rewarding yourself with little luxuries, things that you wanted to do or buy. And 
and it feels good to be able to do that. You're not getting carried away, but you're okay with being on your own. You know, and some people that's threatening to them, but to yourself, you're just enjoying you, which is beautiful. And the two of rods, look at you. Now you're planning something here, a trip for many of you in the near future. And you've got the whole world in your hand and all the opportunities are presenting themselves to you. You're on good solid ground. You don't need or want for anything right now. And you're looking at what your next prospects are. What is it that you want to take the next step on going forward? Some of you, you're leaving home for the first time, like I said, traveling, and it's exhilarating and scary, but you're doing it because there's things that you want to see in this world, and the only way that you can get there, well, is by flight, and that's what you're doing. And the Four of Cups, look at that. Yeah, you're meditating, contemplating. You're approaching things a little more relaxed this week. You're not always go, 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 got to get it done, that sort of thing. And you're being um, disconnected from all the outside humbles and jumbles because you know it's time for you to just take that time, sit down, enjoy what makes you feel pleasurable before you get going again. And for some people, that may look like it's boring, but to you... You're comfortable with where you're at and your surroundings and you don't have to worry. Your cups are full. Things are starting to flow into you and, you know, the universe there is even offering you more. And the temptress, yeah, you have finally found your bliss. Things are starting to be harmonious in your life again. You know, you're understanding that you're accepting people for who they are. You can't change them, nor do you want to. You don't want to waste your time on that, which gives you... Not only self-reflection, but peace of mind. You know, if you had questions, you're okay with it now because you see both sides and, and you're sticking to your side. You know, you're moving forward on, on a whole different area of your life. You know, if there's been family members that you haven't heard from for a while, you're okay with that. You know, you're not overstressing or worried or anything like that. You're leaving them to their own devices and you're continuing on with your own life. And as you decide to do that, everything just seems to flow in harmony for you, which is really nice. You've put up boundaries for yourself. Nobody's going to overstep them. And that's it. And the Queen of Cups. Yeah, things in your life have changed become more calm, you're starting to heal yourself emotionally, stable, physically and mentally, and you're moving forward on something that you wanted to do for quite some time. And you have not only the wisdom to do it, but you know how. And most of you, this is in the family realm, like you're bringing back the family to its fold, you know, and you have the wisdom to do so. And as you make everything in your life more smoothly, it helps you heal many things from your past as well. And the two of pentacles, you know, you're tired of multitasking, you know, always walking on eggshells, making sure everything's in balance and check, and you just want to, you know, crumple up the paper and throw it in the wind and start fresh. You don't want to keep worrying if you do this or you say that is you know what's going to happen next you know that that is not for you anymore so you're figuring out now how to shift away from it and we'll put the you know the pentacles down and whatever happens happens it's not your maybe your circus but it's not your monkeys and you're moving on away from all that and the five of swords yeah look at that for sure you're moving on you have the confidence, you stood your ground. If there's been disagreements, you, again, did what you had to do. You know, there's no mistaking that there's bullies in your midst that have been, you know, doing this for a long time. And now you're tired of all that. So you, when you say something, you mean it absolute. You've drawn the line in the sand. Nobody gets to push you around or take advantage of you anymore. 
ever. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But yours are all about travel, movement, more smoother horizons with less stress and your health. All right. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Beautiful. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.